So what's really gonna happen in the real estate market as we quickly approach the spring season? Welcome back to the Real Estate Market Update. I'm Dean Miller. And let me give you a little bit of insight as to what's been going on with our monthly market update. We'll give you some stats and details, but in addition to that, I wanna give you a little bit of an educated opinion as to what I think is gonna happen moving forward. So let's dive in and take a look at some numbers real, real quick. In the last month, we had our top 10 sales ranging from $8.25 million up in Glen Cove down to $2.8 million in Old Brookville. The luxury market is still moving at an all-time high and prices continue to increase. I expect to see that continue, continuation to happen. I expect to see more and more people on the high end of the market cashing out, getting out of those luxury homes and relocating out of town, which is what we're seeing happen, happening all too often. Yes, there is an influx of buyers who are moving out here, still driving the luxury market higher and higher on a monthly basis, but we do see more and more of those people who are living in those luxury homes, either retiring, downsizing, or completely relocating and heading out of town altogether. Let's look at some details. Active listings, almost flat from January to February. Very similar numbers. We're trading just around 3,300 plus homes on a monthly basis. Our pending sales have gone way up. So we did have a very active January, a very active February. A lot of homes that were on the market are starting to come off. They're going pending, otherwise known as under contract. That number is up 16% month over month. We, continue, we expect to see that number to continue to rise on a monthly basis through the entire spring season. Inventory levels will have, an issue, have some impact on that, but we do expect inventory levels to continue to rise. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Sold homes. Now, in February, we did see a drop off of the number of homes that actually closed. That number was down drastically from January, a 22% decline. But that is normal. We refer to that as seasonality. We don't see a lot of closings happening during the month of February, February historically, right here in Nassau County. Let's go into the numbers that people are really interested in. Average selling price, we saw a 2% increase month over month. We're now trading at over $820,000 as the average price of a single family home here in Nassau County. That's up 2% from January, but that's up a whopping 12.5% from the same time last year. We are still seeing double digit annual appreciation. I do not anticipate that number to change during 2022. The median price, half the home sold above, half the home sold below, $670,500. Up 1% from January, but up an amazing 10.8%. So the entry level market is still continuing to rise. More and more people are getting into homes, getting out of rentals and fighting and battling for those first time home buyer type homes. Time on the market still floating right around 60 days, which is about the normal. The other one that is blowing my mind, Inventory supply is still down to a two month range, meaning if everything that was on the market stayed there and nothing new came on the market in two months, we would be sold out of inventory. There would be nothing available. That is what's driving prices through the roof right now. The ask to sold price range, right about the same thing. Everything that's going on the market that's priced properly is selling at or above asking price. We're coming in at just under 100% for the average ask to sold price ratio. And the number that is really pushing things and making people a little bit nervous, we anticipate that interest rates here in my office, based on my experience and what we're seeing, we're expecting interest rates to increase at least a half to three quarters of a point by the end of the year. We're trading just over 4% annual interest rate right now at 4.08%, according to the people at bankrate.com. Now, we have seen fluctuations in the market. It's kind of like bouncing a ping pong ball. The market's going up a little bit, it's coming back down, it's going up and down. Due to the state of uncertainty in the world that we live in right now, the economic crisis that we all seem to be battling, gas prices are going through the roof. We have international issues happening over in Europe. We've got a lot of political uncertainty right here in our own backyard. It's driving people through the roof, but yes, we are seeing rates bounce to above four, a little bit below, then they go back up. So that 4.08 we see right now, we'll probably be looking at four and a quarter, four and a half at some point in the next couple months. I expect 2022 spring season to be the hottest that we've ever experienced. And when people are talking about an inventory shortage, it doesn't mean that homes aren't coming on the market. It means that they're coming off the market as fast, if not faster than they're actually coming on the market. We're going to see an overwhelming amount of properties that had expired at ridiculously high prices that did not sell last year and the year before. 
we anticipate those people to be putting their homes back on the market at a more realistic price understanding that we're looking at double rate double digit appreciation again in 2022 or really really close to it we expect to see more and more people who thought about getting out of new york actually starting to do that a few of them downsizing and a lot of people actually starting to consolidate as always if you have questions about real estate my name is dean miller from dean miller real estate we look forward to being a resource to you feel free to reach out to us at any time with any questions you may have have a fantastic day